all right so one of my wazza family this particular um wow farm reached out to me asking me for a tutorial on how to do something like this and i felt like a lot of you will also be interested in knowing how to create custom shapes on pixel lab and that is why i decided to create this video so as to guide you on how to create custom shapes on pixel lab stick around and follow me carefully while i take you through this short but very um detailed, uh, detailed video on how to create custom shapes on pixel lab I'm going to see you in the video. Alright, so for custom shapes on Pixel Lab, there are two ways. But then before I even go into that, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video so that you can push it out to more persons. And don't forget to also turn on your notification bell so that YouTube can always notify you whenever I drop new tutorials. I drop tutorials on Tuesdays and on Fridays tuesdays and on fridays all right so let's continue um there are two ways to actually create custom shapes on pixel lab two major ways to create custom shapes on pixel lab one is using the bezier tool and actually this is the best because the bezier tool let me show you what that looks like this is the bezier tool so the bezier tool gives you the freedom to explore um create curves and all of that but then i'm not going to touch on that in this particular video because i've i've done a video already i've uploaded a video on this channel about this particular um subject that is creating custom shapes on pixel lab with the bezier too so just check the description box below you'll see the link to go and watch the video it's i think one of the first set of videos in the bezier too series all right go and watch the video in the description box below but then in this video i will show you another way to create custom shapes on pixel lab right i'm going to do that right away now let me use the one he actually sent as sample let me just um recreate this and show you because there are different kinds of custom shapes right there are different kinds of custom shapes so let me just use the one he actually sent as a sample to um to recreate and show you how you can um create custom create those kind of custom shapes all right so this is it let me just crop it um yeah let me crop it let me crop it yeah all right so mark it so this is the custom shape we want to create now for this one i'm going to use my shape so like i said the first way to create custom shapes on pixel lab is using the bezier tool and actually that's the best to be very very frank with you that's the best but then um if you want something more faster yeah so how to create custom shapes um click on shape right i don't want this video to be too long let me pick the exact color self just let me pick the exact color from here using the color picker too all right so this is it but then what i'm going to do now is that i will um i will reduce the opacity of this field right this is field i will reduce the opacity to zero because in this case this is a stroke so i just want to use stroke for example but then it applies to whether field so you can decide to leave your own field and um yeah sorry you can decide to make your own field visible it depends on you actually in fact before i make my field um before i reduce the opacity to zero let me increase the radius first right let me increase the radius now i want to do something right i want to do something just let me hide this so that it doesn't distract me so i want to position this first click on edit then i want to position this this particular magnet is to ensure that my shape or whatever element i'm working with gets easily attached to the grid lines so i've enabled my grid line here so i want to position this to the center it's positioned to the center now so um i'm going to increase the radius to this all right then i'm going to copy it click on edit and then i will make this i will um ink i will reduce this right i'm going to turn i'm going to um i'm going to reduce the radius to zero i will now push this up can you see i will now move this here all right so you can see what i'm doing right now you can see what i'm doing right now so mark it can you see 
we are already creating the, uh, creating the custom shape so let's let me look at it again all right just this part well let's make our one a bit more unique let i want um, us to affect this part and this part right so well let's just do exactly what um what was done here so let us do exactly what was done here so for that it's going to be simple if you understand how it's done you'll be able to apply it to whatever shape you want to create so i'm going to just move this here right i will just move that there i'm going to move this here all right so i've done this now i'm going to click on the original shape this particular one down i'm going to copy it i'll click on edit again then i'll enable my grid line then for this i'm going to move this down i'm going to reduce the radius to zero then i'll move this here can you see what we just did all right so i'm going to do this mark it and then let me click on the one at the back and just increase the um radius a bit more all right so we are moving steadily right we are moving steadily already so um for this i can now i can now hide it then the next thing i'm going to do now is to merge all of these shapes together right i want to merge all of these shapes together so i'm going to merge everything together and then we have this right we have this so the next thing i'm going to do now is to uh, if you look at this you realize that um if you look at this very well you realize that there are images right there are images in between um these shapes so let's just bring in that as texture so let me just bring in one random image as texture um let me bring in this design that was done by my friend so mark it and then this is what we have but then i'm going to the next thing i'm going to do now is to go to stroke right but then let's see first all right so um go to stroke yeah this is stroke right click on stroke enable stroke and then you can all right i think the texture we brought in is affecting the stroke so i'm going to copy this i'm going to um delete the texture right i'm going to increase this send this to back to back but first bring it to front increase the size a bit then copy now i'm going to delete this one the reason why i'm copying is because as i increase the size the quality reduces because of pixels and all of that i explained that a lot I, I talk about that a lot in my tutorials so send this to back and then we have this right we have this if this looks too big you know this is the one we are yeah look at this so if this if the stroke looks too big then we can the size can be reduced so we have um to front you can just reduce the size we can go to relative um size and then reduce it a bit position this send it to back and then we have this right we have this so the next thing i feel like this is too tiny somehow i just feel like that's too tiny so let me increase this let me increase this right let's position this again and see how it looks this time around okay i think this is nice i think we can go with this so i'm going i'm just going to merge it i'm going to merge the two again right now to make it as slant as this particular one to make it as slant as this particular one all we have to do is to use our perspective so um just click on this and then you can go to perspective and um then you can just adjust it to your tastes right now if you want a specific video on how to um how to use the perspective to like a pro let me know right i think in my telegram community someone made a demand that is similar to that too for a particular um effect she saw but then let me know if you want a video on that let me know if you want a video tutorial on that so um yeah you can always adjust your perspective and make it perfect like take out your time to really ensure that you do something amazing right so take out the time to really ensure that you achieve your goal so that is that about this the another thing we could do 
if you don't want the image you imported to be slant right then you can first do your perspective before um actually importing this as texture so for this now you i can adjust the texture again because you know i've merged the two layers together so before then you can um you can um adjust your perspective before now importing the image as texture yeah if you, if you get what i mean so with this now we've been able to create what the guy wants um yeah i think we've been able to create what the guy wants now i just showed you how to do this you can easily if, if this is the kind of um custom shape you want it's all it's almost the same process right it's almost the same process we have this for this but then if you want to create this kind of custom shape where this part is curved and also this part is curved it's the same process just like i did this one just like i made this part curved sorry about the background noise so just like i made this part curved then you also make this part curved it's that simple or this part and this part this part and this part and that part is very very simple just combining shapes together that's another way to create custom shapes by combining different shapes together so i said the first way is using the um bz2 now another way is using the max2 right another way is using the max2 for example let's say what the guy wants is stroke for example i can do something like this um where's the max2 first of all for the max2 i will even need shape first i will need shape so we have a shape already we have this shape then the next thing i will do now is to click on mask right i'll click on but i'll click on mask so this is the mask but before i use my max the next thing I, I would like to do now is to right i would like to increase the size of this shape a bit just a bit let me reduce the magnet right just a bit outside the gid now don't adjust your gid line right don't adjust your gid I'm trying to achieve something so don't adjust your gate just come to this and position this oh the stroke the stroke is too tiny so let me increase the size a bit more so we have this now all right let's leave it at this let's leave this at this so now let me lock this or oh, there's no need to lock it just go to mask click on mask and then we have this so for the max just enable your mask you can see now that it has maxed out that part look at this is uh, this is in this is in this is out this is in this is out whatever you want but for the sake of this tutorial i want in right i want in so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go to um where is it is to click on this right click on this and then you can adjust your node now we have one two three four four points so that's that's amazing um that's already given us what we want so i'm going to enable my magnet so that my nodes can easily get magnetized can you see that red line showing so move this up move this up then move this here then move this here right now you can easily adjust this you can adjust the begin to move the nodes if you don't know how to use the bz2 if you actually understand how to use the bz2 this particular process is not going to be difficult for you if you don't know how to use the bz2 i have a whole series on that a series of about 11 episodes so just check the description box below for the link to the um, bz2 series so that that can guide you so you can see now that this is what i wanted to create and i've been able to get it can you see yes so now i can also increase the radius right i can increase the radius the only challenge with increasing the radius now is that the radius of the max part is not going to move like it's not going to um it's not going to get adjusted here let me just call it that it's not going to move it's not going to be adjusted so um for that you will need to also adjust that from the max right but then i don't want to um go into all of that because this video is not about the max too i think i have a video on the channel about the max too so but then back we've been able to create this stroke so from this now you can um use your perspective and um just like i did the other time you can move it and all of that now another way of this video is not getting too long right another way um is to is to do something like this let me show you and that way is to copy please let me just remove this mask right is to copy do something like this 
um okay let me delete this click on shape and then change the color so we have this we have this already so click on edit right click on edit then um go to go to stroke increase the stroke right increase the stroke then make this where is it all right yeah we, we can uh, make it sharp or we can make it curved okay we have this so increase the radius right you have the radius already so yeah just like oh come on well this one is very similar to the first one and uh, first one i did though so you increase the stroke you increase the radius you increase the radius and then you can make the fill color white so that you can use erase color you know if, if i change the color of the background now now the white will be visible but if i go to erase color right if i go to where is it if you click on erase color and erase the white part away can you see it's completely gone i can increase my tolerance to, uh, to ensure that those patches of white can completely go and then i can go to the back and click on um white so we now have this now if i want to ensure that my edges are sharp right that means i'm going to do that before actually erasing the color so um where's erase color disable that go back go back go back sorry so um for this now i'm not going to we have this so i'm going to copy this i'm going to click on edit and then i'm going to um make the radius sharp right i'm going to make that sharp then i'm going to move this up oh there's no need to, there's no need moving it up actually just bring it down so we have this i'm going to move this up like yeah, basically just like i did the first time that is what i'm going to do here and then you are going to be able to achieve it but then the main the um second way was the first one i i actually showed where we we're able to together we we're able to achieve this and um yeah that's just that about that so merging shapes together and um combining shapes together can also be a great way to actually create custom shapes thank you so much for watching this video to this point if you like this video and you want more videos like this drop a comment in the comment section i will read from you now if there's something that you want me to also talk about if there's something that you want me to teach about if there's an effect that you see on a design and you want me to um, teach you how to do that on this channel just join the telegram community and then you can drop your designs there right it's an interactive community the community is open so just check the description box below for the link to join the community thank you for watching and i'm going to see you in the next video